This topic is a loyalty and love. So this is the whole title I gave. <clears throat> Before I come to this point, to share in my spiritual journey, I want to guide mankind and share something so they see the whole picture. What happening in human creation or countless creation which is beyond eternal life even. There are so many creation have or existing eternal lives. That is a mind-blowing <coughs> observation. Once is you come to this point where you love God and you take the journey for the will of God, and then come another point when God loves you. When God loves you, He opens so many eternities in eternal life. <coughs> No science can cross those eternity. Only spirit. And for spirit is possible only if this spirit has the light of God. And also there are countless lights in spiritual life. Uh, which God keep depending on the quality and quantity. So there are many light which are horizontal light. <clears throat> they go by lighting speed, but there is also quality light, vertical light of God, when He keep this. You can be transcend the time and space. It means all the Evishkait. It can become small town, town for you. <clears throat> now let me start my topic. Here, time is not playing one role because uh, it go beyond the time. Uh, <clears throat> trillions or trillions, like I say, time don't play any role. Uh, God has created. So many creations, uh, <clears throat> external and internal life, but eternal life creation remain <clears throat> forever. And the external creations, there are also many creations. However, they are limited and also those creation like us that comes like to us so those creation beings external creation also face death and downfall I'm not a scientist but we know that the way creation is expanding like a balloon one day it's going to stretch itself 
and we are going to screech itself. It can be the destructions. And uh, this topic I do not go because this is a scientific topic, but I have seen my observation and I have my experience. Make a long story short, but internal creations, they are forever. And by knowing those creations, those beings, face the death. <clears throat> so there are many creations or countless creation who also break God heart and uh, downfall taking place for them. <coughs> <coughs> like a downfall taking for human creation. Also, on earth human creation is a fallen creation, but when uh, creation is not fallen, the beings or fallen beings, human beings, Jim things, angel, many other. When they come fall, uh, this has something to do with the spirit. Downfall take place because when they don't have a subject-object relationship with God, uh, they are falling into the darkness. So what happening to human beings when they enter life after death? Because God helped us to bring us from darkness into light. But once we show our back to God, then this magnet which is magneting you in your spirit to live forever uh, darkness come inside and then takes downfall and uh, there are many the reason can be given, but uh, one is a subject is a discard. However, because God has created mankind in his image or angel or other creation, and so he has also given them all the key which he has. Um, God has given like a human body <clears throat> so we can use this, our human body according to our motivation, traction and we bring result which is influence, second key, <coughs> our mind <laughs> influence third key our universal consciousness influence our fourth key universal conscious instrument of truth it influence another key we call heart emotion 
and we influence finally our spirit and here is the result our motivation traction how we live and finally result darkness or light come to the spirit <clears throat> so there are many creations who breaking God's heart, who was breaking God's heart, <clears throat> not listening, not taking guidance. <coughs> Forgetting God, Creator. Those creation have decided uh, independence, trying to finish the need of God. In this case, God cannot help those creation. God taking this sadness, God repent himself. He created those creation. But God gave all the keys which he has. Then they misuse those keys actually. And falling in the darkness. In this case. The spirit's downfall is a, such a pain and suffering and it takes billion years to take the darkness out. <clears throat> If uh, all these things what happening to God a bad luck while he created those creations One point of view is, if he would put the principal force inside of any creation, they cannot fall. Like a, there is a loss in human creation. There is a principle in trees. There are principal how is working right now our systems solar systems <clears throat> so if God would put certain principle <clears throat> in this case only one disadvantage is that God is not allowing, allowing, allows the freedom of body, freedom of mind, freedom of universal consciousness, universal conscience, heart, universal heart, universal spirit. In this case, God cannot enjoy his own creations because love requires the freedoms. All those keys which I talked to you about, so long those keys are not free, 
what is in human beings, what other creation. They cannot demonstrate all those freedoms by their own will. If, <coughs> if <coughs> there is a <coughs> principal power, <coughs> for example, if you have a gun and put woman mind and say, love me, otherwise I'm going to shoot you. Of course she's going to say she loves you. But this is not a fulfillment of love. That's a violent. Uh, I do not want to go in this detail of this topic that God was existing. existing. And he came in one point in awareness, universal awareness, when love was there, but there was no one there. To get this love, God has to give all those freedom, all these keys. But in the case of his creations, they misuse it. And this misuse is cause calling God bad luck? No. This calling the creation bad luck. There began this bad luck. God is a broken heart. Yes. So in this case, the bad luck it is coming in the life of all those creation beings on the other side God is a sad broken heart and rebelled why I am creating but by all after all this thing he continue creating creations so in this case, I can say what God wanted is God's point of view. God created all those countless creations and beings to have a joy, happiness. This was his whole motivation. <clears throat> he has everything. But love is the only thing which he cannot do alone. He needs a partner. And all creation was his love partner. <clears throat> so when those creation tried to finish his need, became independence. They thought we will find our own happiness. They did not find his own happiness. I remember what God said, if I would give everything, <coughs> all the happiness or heaven, if I would not be there, no fulfillment take place in those paradise and heaven. We are the result. We are not the cause. God is the first cause of the universe. And we are the result. And the result cannot decide his own purpose. Of course he can decide like a fallen human being are doing. But as we see, <clears throat> Becoming a famous person, to have the power ruling the world, have possession, 
money. Women have handsome men. Men have handsome, beautiful women. And then they're thinking they are happy. They will find peace, happiness, endless love. And the result is right over there. They have all those things, but in their life, they get psychology, psycholo psychological, so much depressions. Women leave them, or men leave them. Divorce already have a downfall, actually. Yeah. <clears throat> Divorce means separation. Separation from his creator. This causing all your diseases. So showing our back to God, forgetting our real home, God received broken heart sadness, and we receive everlasting pain, everlasting <clears throat> downfall, everlasting unhappiness, And we leave this world carrying the darkness, carrying so many pains and fear, unsecure, entering in life after death. And this worry, fears, all those things that that once take all our material happiness marathon, but we were believing that we can be happy, that take all these material things away. And we are studying alone, life after that. And here we find out that what we have a marathon, worldly marathon in life to find peace, happiness, endless love, fulfillment. Nothing we have. We lost everything. And this we call the religious term help for us. Again, God received the dust of sadness and we receive bad luck in our eternal life. Like I say, God wanted to see joy, his creation. That's why he created. But the joy comes when you have a give and take with your creator. When you create you take a guidance. When you follow his guidance, only then you can find your destination. So God wanted to hear song of joy. But what God see more said. Another side, what happened to creation? Whatever creation is created, they have given God this sadness, like he. when children are of disobedience to parents and take a wrong ways, not take a kindness. They see very sad and too. Because parents love them. 
until they become independent they want the best for their children so is god now here the one question rise universal time is a witness when light became to exist when god created light god say light is good it mean he is the creator of light but where he was living before light yes because even symbolical bible say there was a evening there was a night there was a morning so there were three process in the creating the creation evening when when god began night mean when things grow morning mean when the result came and this was a one of process <clears throat> when god said light is good so there are many process in this creation so this his work is divided in three process evening night when thing grows evening mean when he work <coughs> like even formal investment in the field <clears throat> when his fruit comes this is the waiting time like a night and morning fruit is there yeah so this is a tea time tea process it mean time cannot go beyond there when god was alone time to not know what was the many process to place mechanical process also in god before spiritual process took place just see when woman is pregnant child is here in stomach this is a mechanical process this is a small mechanical process when child comes this is the first time god universal prime force give possibility spiritual process and body grows mind grows unique version consciousness consciousness grow conscious grow emotion grow spirit is the highlight process when baby come out that's mean material process became spiritual process now this spiritual process to grow for baby is also take times in very beginning baby don't become professor yes. it need mother love emotion and slowly slowly baby become unconsciousness stage to be consciousness stage those are the process what happened in god i have wrote many book about this topic my observation and my experiences and even my journey i have taken many journey in god 
where I could observe the Atenakis in the past when he was alone. Then all books are a amazing grace or diamond which I brought for my fellow men. But what I receive, I'm a victim of a devil. I'm Satan. I'm a cult sect. An almost title is given to me from religious world, secular world, I have no interest because they are busy in their own material. Martin. So I am bringing so many information which remain in the dark eternity into the light. <clears throat> and then another sadness is here. The prophet or we call the Messiah. Whatever name we give, they are is universal spiritual growth. Yes. Property the first uh, highlight of for spirit. But then go Messiah. And then the universal growth take place. So in this case, what we are doing, we are, our religious term, we see this prophet Messiah and spirituality at the end. This is only beginning journey. But it is not the end. This is a long way to be home. It is a need a billion, trillion spiritual growth will be always touch new dimension. Let's take one example for uh, prophet. Religious term. Religious world see the highlight perfect their own savior, own prophet. But they forget, which I give information for them, when they enter in spiritual life, they enter with their relative growth. And they are still growing actually in spiritual life. Yes. And uh, they are believers think they are perfect. Now they are believers enter in spiritual life and they find out in spiritual life their limitation. Because if their prophet and savior would live now, until now, I can bet with you, by the time they have a less solidarity for them and they have a more question and more confrontation with their own saviors. But because they die, so next process to come to know them where death is not existing after death, spirit live. And there, prophet is in trouble, savior are in trouble. Because when they go down religious dimension, nobody welcome them. Because, <clears throat> According to 
their own teaching. Now they have relative more growth. And here they are believers holding Bible, Old Testament, Quran, Bhagavad Gita, or Buddhist book, and judging them according to their books. And now they are saying in spiritual life, there was many things to share, but we could not share because your spiritual growth was not there. Like a Jesus was saying, I have many things to share with you, heavenly truth, but you don't understand earthly things. So fallen human being who don't understand religious trumps, small, small earthly thing, then what was left for those prophets to make a sharia, some according to their growth, some laws actually. And what they came to know more, they kept for themselves. That's exactly happening. Now spiritual life, they are in big trouble actually. And believer is not believing them. So they, believer are suffering and pain and downfall and darkness because they believe their Savior gonna find one selfish, self-centered hole and bring their believer in paradise. But this imagination fall when they enter everlasting spiritual life. <coughs> <coughs> So they remained in their spiritual dimension, but there is another law is working and bound them to go down and correct their mistakes. Angel, another creation. So every time they go down, fall, go down, their suffering begins. Pain begin, worry begin, fear begin. On the other side, while those prophet and savior would not have shared, mankind got a disadvantage and they did not came to know God. Now God is at the universal God. Once again said, why you did not reveal for which purpose you went. First thing we must, the ideal world, the kingdom of God only can come. More mankind will come to know their universal creator. Two less in information about this. So what probably start doing, creating social, uh, uh, trying to solve social problems creating Sharia, which is not by God. This came by angel. And there were the many wisdom of Prophet, Savior. This mixed things became a God speaking direct. But that's not true. That's a lie. I'm revealing this thing. <clears throat> So even in this case, Prophet and Messiah was also, but they did something, small thing good, but they also caused big hole for mankind. And mankind did not get to know what they know. On the other side, God is again broken out. And he preparing again and again for every creation, new spiritual guider. 
again and again in creating hope, new creations. And one time I have dialogue when Heavenly Father was taking me different eternity and he saw I was there. He was holding me hand to hand. And I saw this dark matters was changing his color as a green. And God was saying to me, not to me, but he was communicating by himself. And God says, now this material has changed and is ready to create new creation. At this point, I say to God, my most beloved and beloved creator, your love is countless times higher than an appearance. You have all the wisdom. You know. But why are you creating more creation when already many creations have given you? Make you broken heart. God look at me, stare at me, staring at me, and then he said, In hope, I'm creating new creation. In hope, I will find one more like him. To find one more like him as an individual, he creating creation. So majority of the creation, they fall they misuse the freedom, misuse all the keys which was given them to fulfill the purpose of eternal life, purpose of love. So all those keys, universal material, dead material, universal mind, universal Consciousness, awareness, universal conscience, a search for the truth, universal emotion, which is the ultimate goal for spirit. Bringing light to the spirit, all key was misused. So, majority of the creation going down. Of course, there is a minority. Certain creation did not fall. They are fulfilling this burning fire purpose. Burning fire means in love with God. They not only survive, but also they are growing in eternal life, higher. They give to God as a result, the real bad luck began for men, all creation and mankind. From that time, we talk about our 
luck, bad luck, our fortune, our fate. This kind of terms we use in religion, our theology, our terminologies, but this is simple truth is once you leave your own center, nothing can hold you but downfall take place. Otherwise, universal God says, I am standing on the right path to help my creations, all these different beings, human creation. If they, God is on the right path means he is standing as a subject center. So God is saying, I am the subject of universal prime force. Of course, we don't know, but all the guesses took place and expanded as a circle in God. But even Bible terms, religious terms, because we are blind, we are not spiritual. We don't understand simple truth. Like a God throne was on water. And there was a movement. It means, let's talk about water. Hydrogen, if I'm right, two element, oxygen, one element. Water is cause. So those gases, unlimited gases, was energy in within God actually. It didn't look one day process. We was not there. No creation being was there. We only can come to know once we become absolute object, disobedience, faith and our love. At this point our journey began, which we call not a religious journey, we call spiritual journey. But that's the big thing. Not the end. <laughs> now there is another phenomenon which I bring a little bit light. All those creation is visible. <clears throat> Internal creation we can see with our spiritual senses. External creation, if we are there, we can observe our physical senses. But the point is they are visible. But why God is invisible? Creation can be discovered with physical senses or spiritual senses. External creation, physical senses. Spiritual creation, Internal creation, life after death, spiritual senses, if it's functioning. It only can function because when we have given take with God, so that's a relative. <coughs> but God has not specific place as a visible, substantial reality 
Why not? That's a big question. That's the oldest question in the human history of religion. But our downfall keys is not functioning. Because we want to reach everything with our physical senses. This is one example which I want to give you, which I give all the time. Scientists are going to make more experiments. They will discover more things. The only advantage is in science. They are not narrow-minded like a religion, actually. They change their belief very much <laughs> according to the experiment. For example, I'm not a scientist, I'm a, I'm a prophet actually. I have observation. I'm a messiah. I have a journey with God. So science will tell you now or in future how details of creation, how this law function and according to this growth they will come to know in creation in future how God created this creation but if we ask let's say this question to scientists okay you will discover many things by experiment and you will give us information but we ask scientists world why God created? This is our right. <laughs> yeah. Religious people are blind. They have a lot of solidarities to their prophet savior. But we should have a loyalty, love, yes. Solidarity, yes. But we have also right to ask questions. There's a universal freedom, God gave. But what religious, narrow-minded religions, all what they are doing, they're making forbidden, taboo. You can ask this question. God gave you universal mind and they put limitation. You cannot ask this question. And truth is very painful. When Muhammad stop his follower not to ask questions, because he says it will be a lot of burden for you. Yeah. And many questions Muhammad by himself or not, because of his spiritual growth. This reason many attacks happened to me, to kill me, assassination. But grace of God I am living. Same thing Christianity. Jesus rejected, refused to give those answers which he know about heaven. Then question rise if a person like me was living, I would ask him. Then why you are Messiah? Why you are prophet? When I'm asking you a question. And you make me limitation and say, you will not understand. Okay, I will not understand if I would live that time. But uh, maybe because of my spiritual growth, maybe I'm never married. But if he would reveal, future generations would understand. They would have an architecture plan because always future generation, they have this paper material, yes, exactly, I don't know how many examples I gave you, Buddha confused, even he was teaching ethic moral value, but he has a spiritual experience too, but he confused mankind, when somebody came, I don't believe in God. 
He is not existing. He said, maybe he exists. He confused him. Other came, he said, I know God is existing. And his answer was, maybe he is not existing. Confuse him. Anand, we call Europe Ananda, something like this. He, this bothered him too. And he was angry, frustrated. He said to Buddha, what are you doing? You confusing both person. Who saying is not existing, you saying maybe, who saying God existing, you saying maybe not. Now see the Buddha wisdom, he said, it disturb you, confuse you. He said, yes. He said, this is your answer. This is also your answer. I do not know what kind of growth they have, but simple truth is they confuse mankind. Also Bible. Bible does not mean that priests have to read for you in church, Sunday service. Quran does not mean that you go in the mosque and Mullah will teach you. We are living in modern time, educated time in our society. You can read by yourself too. Give yourself chance, universal. So when Peter was angry to Jesus and saying, why are you speaking so much symbolical language? Because Jesus own self pride, respect, hurt, and he was angry with Jesus, uh, angry with Peter. This is a small example I give you, but there are many things which is not my topic here. I want to come with my real journey, but I warmed you up actually. <clears throat> we go back in our topic. The topic is why he is invisible and we are invisible. That's a question. Because creation is as a result. So it's visible. God is the cause. He is the transit, the time and space. He can live without light. We cannot. If in this universe light goes away, or in this, let's say in our planet, if sun would one day will not give warmness, sun get cool over there and we get a cool over here. By time we die. By time, everything, beautiful forest, beautiful weather, beautiful everything, will start dying. God is amazing God. Even in the weather he make an angle. If I'm not wrong, uh, he make a 23 degree angle. Yeah, sun is no better. So weather take place. Otherwise, look at many planets. They have no weather. weather. Night are too cold. Days are too hot, actually. Yes. This is a creator of love. But science will not give you answer. Why he created? If you have a why question, we have no other alternative. Then we have to go to our priest, Mullah, our Guru, our Sadhu Sant, Buddhists, we go to them. And they created this terminology 
when he just found it, laid his paces. Now this mullah, this priest, this guru, they are all blind. Don't tell me that Catholic or spiritual. Sorry. Yes. You know they are most blind. They will not read for you Bible, Quran, Old Testament, Bhagavad Gita. They will not read everything for you, Buddhist. They have only knowledge. But their spiritual senses are dead. So we go in hope for the religious, not the door. They are more blind than us. And they deserve it. People have leaving the churches, mosques, young generation, religion, as they deserve it. They are becoming atheistic. As they deserve it, secular society taking place. As they deserve it, material marathon began. This is all a system of body system. What about our spirit? We all know because we are living in the present time with our body, we know we need a food, breakfast, lunch, evening, dinner. And between, we don't shut our mouth, something is in our mouth actually. Yeah? Even we are hungry or not hungry, that's why we see the rich countries, they have a problem to lose the weight, the poor country. You can see their ribs and they are so skinny. This is also failure of system. So, our bad luck is that we are knocking the door from religion who created theology, terminology, but we cannot say prophet are, uh, they are not responsible. They are the most responsible who created social principle and took the term of Sharia. Moses had a Ten Commandment and after this came Jesus. Uh, he said, let's, let, let's observe. He said, I did not come to destroy the Old Testament, I came to fulfill it. And what is going? He denied the uh, Ten Commandment. The law saying if illegal sex or fornication, two people do without Mary, they must be stoned. He's not stoning them. I'm giving you one example. He's forgiving them. So he's forgiving them not to follow Old Testament law. If this is a fulfillment of Old Testament, Jewish got very angry. What kind of nonsense is this? You call this fulfillment, you destroy the religion. No, he was not destroying their religion. He want to take them further journey. He was saying as a Messiah, we call him Jesus, but Jesus is not his real name. His real name is Emmanuel. Yesu Nasri from Galilee. Anyway, he was saying, and one occasion in Bible, why you go and read these books, memorize this book, and all this what you are doing, but this book only talking about me. I am the Messiah. I am the last days. So he was saying, let me take you in the further journey. Because your Old Testament, your Quran, that's exactly what I'm saying. Your Old Testament, New Testament, your Quran, your religion, they're talking about me as a, I am the Messiah. I'm not creating new religion. I want to take you there where universal 
observation and journey taking place with God. More you will come to know God, you will come out from your narrow-minded egg religion and I will teach you how to fly. I will teach you while you are living in the physical world and you can go beyond the death. I will teach you how this all key function. So they became, I became worst person calling me a devil actually. Chinese time, Jewish called them Chinese devil. Muhammad time, Kufar. The tribe called him devil. And in this modern times, they call me devil. So in this case, what is the difference? So I'm saying all prophets were the uh, brothers. Then Muhammad is a devil, Chiri is a devil. All prophets are devil. I'm devil too. So we all inspired by devil. Most foolishness, bad luck for religion. <clears throat> so Messiah is not coming to give you new doctrine. Messiah is coming to open the eternal door so your vision of life is not limited. Only depending on the material burden, your vision is not limited. What we will eat, what we drink, where we live. You see again what Jesus is saying. Even this bird, so less value, so less money. You can buy this bird, but he said, look at it, they don't make factories, they don't produce anything and they fly higher than you. Yeah? God give them also food. So if spirituality can set it down on earth, which is God said to me, one family word, spiritual family is the solution for all the problems. I always say, India are dying, Africa, people are dying. But they have so much sources. Along India can agriculture feed, agriculture, 80% people can, India can feed food. And Africa too, they have so many sources, but they are dying by themselves actually. So it, nothing to do with God is a failure of these systems. Fallen men have a reason, mainstream reason, failure of this system. These fallen dark men cannot bring any solution for peace, forever happiness, joy, endless love. They say respect United Nations. United Nations make a many peace contract. They are all in basement. I don't know how much. Huh? Peace agreement. Peace agreement. Did peace came? United Nations cannot make the peace. Peace began with spirituality as an individual have a given things with his creator, this peace will be forever. Otherwise, you're going to be white fool forever. So we are knocking the door of religion. They are sitting more blind mullah, more blind uh, priests, more blind Buddhists. Yeah. I remember I was watching one show Question was asked, Daddy, did you die, Lama? This man. 
Are you real sure that you are in condition of Buddha? Are you Buddha? He said, I don't know. At least this man tells the truth. He is not lying actually. Yeah? Dai Lama is spiritual light. He don't know. He can give you the teaching of Buddha, but he is light. He cannot give you his spiritual observation, his spiritual journey. He could teach you Buddhist law, Buddhist practice, exercise, whatever. Knowledge with knowledge. If knowledge is the solution of life, then let me tell you, after a while religion, movement of water, why is not continue? When water movement is not there, then this water bad smell. When heavenly rain comes, it revives again. Yes. So this water of life is the spirituality. Otherwise every religion is going to be have bad smell. German we say stint. Yeah. So we are knocking the door. Who we are knocking the door? For the answer why God created this creation. Scientists is failure. Philosophers don't know. Medicine don't know. No field can give you this answer. Now we are knocking the door of religion. One blind knocking the door and other blind actually. And saying, show me the way. You know, but two blinds show the way each other. They are going to fall in the hole. That's what Jesus said to Now Messiah, God never let human history alone like that. God always sending prophet. God know what is the need of mankind spiritually. And now I came as a Messiah. Like I told you, that's the beginning. Spirituality, but it takes a long way to grow. But then, in my life of spiritual growth, there came a highlight time when God said, You are my heart. Mankind will remember you in love. End of my life as an old man, God said, You will be found discovering my love. So it means there are many spiritual highlights, but there is a no end actually. What is my growth today? It will be not tomorrow same. When I enter in spiritual life, I take my observation, all this my experience. Shall I say I'm perfect? That's a greatest foolishness. I'm saying I stop learning now. I will stop growing. Internal life, my spiritual growth will be again, dimension to dimension, paradise to paradise, paradise to paradise. More higher dimension I will enter, then the more light is existing. I will look at back my I will look at back my spiritual growth. Then I will see that I was living in paradise, but then I will see this was not enough for my spiritual growth. And I will say now I am entering more light, more awareness, more spiritual growth. But then this spiritual growth could not bring me another dimension. This process will go horizontally. Where it could have end up? I have so many books. I don't want to go to the topic. And then vertical began, journeys. It means whole eternal life needed before we will say, who will say, I will say, I'm perfect. 
who will say, I will say I am home. No. This will be our Heavenly Father, our only Creator. But there, at this point, new journey is going to take place with God. New journey will be visible journey. We will be beyond the time and space. There is no place where spirit is permanent. Spirit can traverse the time and space. Yes. There are so many things to say. Saying this thing, <laughs> my own observational journey with God is making me broken heart, actually. It's a bad luck for human beings, for all creation. So coming to why is the beginning of spirituality, highlight of religion, beginning of spirituality. After my death, maybe they get influence. from my books. <coughs> what shall I do with this influence as a Messiah? If I would, now they will take influence, we can build the kingdom of God. They take influence later when human beings are going to be more sub, more people. It's going to cause more troubles. And then they will take influence. Take this influence today. I can help an individual. I can help family, society, nation, the world. I can guide them. What is the kingdom of God? <coughs> What is the idea? They took my influence. <clears throat> but after long suffering and pain. Yeah. That's why I am producing full time. Because religion is saying no profit, taboo. Yes. I am producing profit. And uh, with my hand all over the world, there are so many prophets who are not spiritual mind. And this is my wish that they should become Messiah and <coughs> greater than I. Every wish their children should be greater than them. This makes them happy. Do you saw one father working in the labor as a worker? He want to see his child doctor. He wants to see best future for his children. This nature where we got this nature. We have no time in this marathon. This nature came. It's a natural nature which came by God. God wants to see us greater than God. So my message is crossing here also. Please, wherever in the world you get those my books. Please read. It will help you shortest way to meet God. <sighs> Creating 
they want to achieve fallen creation, happiness by themselves. <clears throat> Like a human fallen creation, other creation has the same fallen thinking. We will make our own world, our own happiness. Everything, I, 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 and we will be happy. But by all means, they forget their result. They are not the consequence. We have to see who is the cause. Yeah. Even medicine, they see the cause of the sickness. If one day this medicine mafia, when two people will come, who will be spiritual prophet, because God says earth should be fulfilled with prophet and messiah, when they will come. They will not produce the medicine and medicine as a mafia. There's a mafia everywhere. Yeah. I'm very sorry. King was a mafia. Lord System was a mafia. Yeah. Dictator was a mafia. Yeah. And this capitalist, capitalist society. It is always something good, but they are mafia. Minority rule the majority. Same principle. Yes. Our politics is mafia. Until they're gonna discover I'm I'm gone. <laughs> they can come, take a bulldozer and destroy my cemetery where my dead box is there. Yes. It's very sad. Yes. One Dictator and relative, little bit good and other dictator. Yeah. This democracy is according to our conscience. Europeans have their own conscience. Superpower have their own conscience. Yes. And their principles change everywhere according to their selfish benefit. They have forgotten the cause, the root. When the earth will be spiritual, they will be first communicator, prophet with God, and then they will find out the cause of sickness again. Not providing the medicine, medicine. And they will be the one who will create a mankind one system which disease, accident, bad luck will be over. They will be the one who gonna give kindness to God. And they will be the one like me. I don't wanna put myself divine stages. They will be. Who will take the fear of death away? Yes. All religious books are prophesying about me as a messiah, me as a morning star, me that possibility will take place that mankind can see the spiritual heavens, spiritual eternities. I'm living. I'm over 50 years, even more, teaching about God. I'm not teaching anything else. If I'm teaching you anything else, if I'm teaching you religion, if I'm teaching you about myself, don't take it. But I'm teaching about universal creation. Who I met, who I, who I am in the media's journey of 
observation and experiences. Like a human form creation, other creation has lost to forget the who give the birth to love creator. Because of birth of love, life came in all the creation. Who gave this life creator? Who made a before process for everything creator? And they believe they becoming also creator. <coughs> Fifty times they have to go pinkle, <coughs> and I don't know how many times they have to go <coughs> for the big business. <coughs> this fallen environment, prophet are sick, Messiah is sick. Jesus. He healed maybe not even 50 people, 100. All Christianity is sick. All spiritual blind. Yes. The environment makes people sick. The real sickness is the day mankind has shown our back to God, our ancestor. Yes. Two things came in the human. Fear, worries, and they don't know where is our destination. This causes all the diseases. It may have a nerve system, make us worry, nerve system. Yeah? Fear, nerve system. That's why the, all the psychological signals taking place. Forget our home, psychological sickness. Buying a sex is not mean you buying a love. Buying medicine is not mean that you will live and you will be healthy. <clears throat> buying the apartment is not mean or buying the house is not mean you are home. Think about that. This creator has not forgotten anything what his creation need. He put everything in his creation. What is our need? But then again, the last things, He let us free. We decide if we want to come back home. We decide if we want to be thankfulness to our Creator. We decide if we want to If we want to love this Creator, we decide it. No violent force God giving us. Yes. We decide. There, God left us free. He gave us everything what we needed. But there, He left us free. Yes. And what we have done, we have misused whole system, misused our freedom, misused our mind, misused our awareness, misused our emotion. And as a result, you will see your spirit, how big monster look like it, that life after that you don't recognize your spirit. You say, no, that's not me. I was so beautiful woman, I was so handsome. But you will see in the mirror, 
That's you. This beauty of physical body is gone. Yeah? We see every day. This uh, Hollywood, Bollywood, they make many attractions to make them some beauty. More they get old, more they want to become. Many ejection, many oppression, and more they look like a so ugly. It's nothing but no ejection is functioning. They can change their nose thousand times. Yes. They make a in hair for beauty. In the end, nothing. They look more and more ugly. In the end, they have to die. The real beauty is for spiritual life. I have seen in heaven. I have seen in paradise and vertical heaven. Spirit beauty. You're talking communication. Three seconds with God's spirit. And then you look at another direction and then look at this spirit again. It beauty change. Everlasting beauty is with God, with light of God. He, like a human creation, other creation has also insist as the ego, arrogant, self-centered. And as a result, they are destroying their own creation. Yes. Whatever weapon has been created has used mankind for each other. I don't have to give lecture how much atomic bombs has created. Along America can destroy over 100 times. Russia too, 80 times. European too. Even poor country who has not food, who don't know what they're going to eat evening. Like a Pakistan, like a India, like a North Korea. They have it. They can destroy this earth if they explode atom bombs. I don't know how many, maybe over a thousand. I said one time is enough. Why 120 times? Foolish people. I was, had an opportunity one time to go mental hospital. I saw one young man, they put his hand uh, they put it belt his hand. They put it uh, that he can fast. Uh, he could not open his own hand. I was asked, "What are you doing with this mental hospital? This person even why such a punishment?" They say because when we make him. Free, he cut his own body with blade, with knife. The fallen creation, fallen human being, they are mentally sick. Let me tell you one more time. When I die, I can tell you a million times, they are mentally sick people. They are harming their own family, their own society, their own nation, their own world. And they don't feel any pain. So this kind of self-centered world, this color don't stay so long, <clears throat> very quick, this color go away. <clears throat> On the other side, creator. Every creation, one more sadness, one more pain. But even fallen creation, their cleverness, their tricks, is not coming to end. Because 
their mind has lost it. Their universal awareness has lost it. They have consciousness is a stage you come to know the universal truth is lost it. Their love or plight. And as a spirit, you see all the disadvantages. Buddhist world are shouting, Buddha opened the door of paradise. The door of paradise was rofted. He was the one. He is the first one who went inside. Okay, Jesus came 2000 years ago. He came 575, that's the 2600 years. Huh? What about before? Adam came. Before Adam came, many Messiah. Noah came, Abraham came. Huh? They was all, all was waiting outside the door because the door was rusted. They were waiting for the Buddha to open the door. Buddha came as a macho. Buddha came as a, he said, every proper everybody grabbed and he opened the door. So he was the first one. Door of paradise was rusted. Rusted. I went in a I was passing, paradise is a spiritual growing dimension. I was passing green dimension, uh, one of dimension. I saw Buddha, I made Buddha. After this green dimension, there are billion dimension more. Buddha is very formation stage of green dimension. Yeah. Every dimension, color telling, his, his value, his growth. So I went, I said to Buddha, your believer believed that you were the first one. And paradise was lost. It. Paradise has no door. Which door you was opening. Muhammad says there are two at the door of paradise. Paradise has no door. You can be any time. You can be even today. If you have a burning love of God, if you hear the voice of God, if you ask and seek God, He will be answered you. He is not a dead God. He is a life God. I have the possibility thousand people. I make them spiritual and they got their own observation and experience in spiritual life. God is not dead. I asked Buddha, where is the door which you, you were using too much power to open? Buddha was also man like a Jesus. Symbolically, he also talk only symbolic. Jesus talks symbolic. Muhammad talks symbolic. They confuse their own believer. A Buddha says, "Yes, you are right. There is no door of paradise. Whoever sick of God, longing." So which door you were talking? He said, my heart, my door was rusted. It took so long to open my heart for the universal light. And I met God, but I hide it. I took a middle position, midpoint of his religion, midpoint of his believer. So Muhammad. 
So Jesus. Greatest ever mistake they make it. That they are the last one. Of course they are the last one. Now they cry when they look at their world. Yes, what kind of blindness they left for their religion. Who gonna like me? Nobody gonna like me. Proper religion hate me. Proper don't like me in spiritual world because they know I'm revealing things about their spiritual growth. Angel don't like me. Angel know first time I'm gonna tell the nature of angel. I wrote even book, yes, about angel and their system. They like to dominate human creation. I'm revealing so many things. Who like me? Nobody like me. Many creation don't like me. They're the only one who love me. He not only like me, he loved me. He's the creator, actually. Because of this, I'm surviving. How many times they promise the creation and also human fallen creation? And then they show their back to God. Yes, this was their reaction. Human ignorance, history is too long, it will go beyond even external creation to internal creation. They have disobedience to God. No loyalty, no love. And as we know, if we don't know, I can increase your information. I don't know how many times they swear of God per day. I don't know. My feeling is Islam is the highlight. Wallah, wallah, swear of God. Who believe in their swear? Swear of name of God? Eh? This became their first evil heaven. Wallah, swear of God, swear of God. Yes, every lie is swear of God. Yeah. And on the other side, I made God many times. And I'm asking the nature of he is also not the end. He continue creating. No one come to know his nature. At, at least God said to me, I am his heart. I did not come to know his total nature. I don't know how many internal life I will cross to come to know him. Even God says, wherever spirituality will find a new dimension, new eternity. One feet will be my, God say, one feet will be you. That's the truth. I don't know. Maybe God is pumping me. Like a, you remember, uh, you have a small baby, child, you have a basket of water, you are holding. And child also helping you. So child thinking he is holding also 20 kilo water, yes, in the basket. <clears throat> but you are the one who holding actually. So, thank you God. Saying one feet will be mine, one will be yours. Thank you comforting me. 
inspiring me, inviting me to come more, have experiences in with our beloved Creator. But even this is a truth. Still, I know my my own life as a Messiah. If I count all my life until I became old man, whatever I had done, that man can come to know their creator. The result was zero. Zero, 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 zero. I don't know, maybe I'm taking also a million zero. But the zero came value because God as his first, number one, stand behind the zero. My zero became value. God's love is not a love. He is an overwhelming love. The overwhelming love. Secret is a mystic love. That's a secret. Only this one knows. <coughs> <coughs> Who <coughs> come to know this mystics? Secret between God and divine God. between his creation. I say to God one, when universal light he cooled down, I have an opportunity to see him. I cannot even look at one sun. A billion suns shine in front of me. I think I will be grilled. But God's light is beyond the universe light. So he come out from his light. He cool down from his light. He become a lovely being. So lovely. Give me opportunity to come near to him. He kiss my eyes. He kiss my forehead. So I have many conversations with God. So I ask one occasion to God. Every time you create, sorry, every time you create new creation, you are waiting for new sadness, you are waiting new broken heart. What is your motivation? First God, listen to me. was a very serious question. Then he's smiling me, smiling at me. He took me down. He gave me more kissing, my head, my cheek, my forehead. He took me more tight in his love. He could grip me. He said, I'm a creator. What kind of nonsense question are you asking me? Huh? Only a little bit is golden fire light. One funk is enough for me. I'm gone. No. Where God's spirit is, there's a peace. Where God is, there is absolute freedom. Where God is, there is a universal awareness. Check more and more growth. Where God is, there you discover the conscious nature of God. You can come to know many dimension, dimension of truth. You can come to know God. Where God is, there you come to know how the birth of love took place. Where God is, there you come to know how old is this life. So pity, so pain. God starts smiling and start to punishment. He was loving me more. Overwhelming love. Who is Lucifer who became Satan? Yeah. 
He asks direct question to God. He disobedience to God. Even he was giving lecture to God. You created me with fire. You created human creation with dust. Dust go down. Okay. Yeah. Fire grew up. Yeah. With dead material. Yeah. Go down. He giving God lecture. He giving creator lecture and trying to prove how intelligent he is. At this point he, he was telling how foolish and stupid and nonsense he's speaking. What God did? God did not say, I go not really you. God said, I give you time, you prove it. You are right. Yeah. So much time passed. Instead to prove he was right, more and more darkness came in his spirit. Yes. And now the first time when I saw him, first he tried to grill me 40 years. He tried to destroy my mission. He tried everything. His time was past. He came to me. He said, what kind of punishment you will give me? <sighs> Not only this, he said, why you came so late as a heart of God? I will not lose my light. You see, always accusing, accusation. There he accused to God as a fallen being he accused to me. Yes. But one motivation I saw. He came to me. He wanted to go back as a moving he wanted this darkness to go away. He wanted again this morning star when he was guiding many creation, he was giving light. When he was peace was dwelling relatively, happiness, love. He wanted to go back there to grow again, continue. You see that? We all will go back one day. We all I don't know if we are small Satan or big Satan, but we are partner of Satan. Yes. We all will go back, going through pain, suffering, punishing it. We all will go back. In the end we will say, let's go back. Now we know. Like every human spirit when it die, when you see the phenomena, see its own spirit, see it lose everything, they say, let me go back, let me go back, let me go back, let me go back. If you let me go back, I will change 180 degrees. Now I came to know eternal life. Now I want to change. <coughs> Other side. I asked the law, I said to angel, what about if you let them go? What the law says? He said, if we, if we let them go, a human being, this nature again, they, can, they will live thousand years and they will be more worse and their habit could be more to follow, more follow. How many times I am going away from my real observation and chant, I am not coming even this point actually. So I will try now. Shortcut. <coughs> God's love never changes. But I don't know why human being love change, other creation love change. Why they become unloyal? Answer I have already given to you. I don't need to repeat.
using all their instrument misusing that's the answer like a political party have an election if they will choose me as an election with become new god i will teach them human creation in within takes only one minute to take their air away their breath away to become obedience <coughs> unfortunately <coughs> i am not a god it better like <sighs> All what I have spoken to you, there was a certain thought I was thinking, and I was flying first horizontal in paradise, then I went vertical in heaven. <clears throat> in the vertical heaven. <coughs> In one heaven, while I was flying, I made, I saw one couple, so much feel boring million year to look at them. I was wondering what can a couple they are, male and feet. What kind of thing they are? Such a light. Such a shine. Such a beauty. Their beauty was the highlight of heaven. I said to them, I was crossing many heaven, and very seldom I found someone. And now, after long flying. I met you in those palaces. Once while I see in those heavens, they were staring at me and they were looking at me like a. Eight wonder, nine wonder, they were looking at me. Who I am again? Because over there in heaven, I see son and daughter of God, prince and princess. I'm so happy. That's my fortune. Good luck. If crossing those heaven empty, and then meet somebody like this. After a while, they break their silence, and they say to me, "Are you very special prince of God?" Are you supreme son of God? I say, how come you came this conclusion?
you don't know where he come from. Otherwise, you will come to know my bad luck. And if it would be possible, you kick me out until I go this fallen human creation. Until I'm, I do not say about human being, until I go where I belong to. Uh, I'm just was lying. Uh, so I find my sadness leave me and find a moment of home I see. For this heaven is made. Now listen what they say. They say the vertical light, what you have, this is the card light. They have a light, their son and daughter, but the light you have. This is a vertical light of God. How come you got this light? How come you, who you are? Now they see me divine supreme, son of God. Uh, this light is God light. And we know nobody can steal God light. God keep by him. His own thing to you. I don't know. I was myself speechless. I don't want to open my history. They even maybe don't know where I have come from. As a justification, German we say also said, justification. I say <clears throat> I was little bit loyal to God. Little bit I love. Little bit, I want to know my beloved Creator. Everything was little bit, little bit. <laughs> That's what we are, little bit, little bit. I have to change my own habit too. <laughs> little bit. Because of this reason, I don't know, but you tell me because maybe God make a mistake to give me this light. <coughs> when they heard this thing, and now God is, I don't know what God is thinking. If he repent himself, what he has done. Whatever God gave you, don't take. Unless you destroy your own gift. When I say such a thing, they was more embarrassed, more surprised. They were looking at me, but I'm talking at me. God blind and this kind of talking, it doesn't harmonize. The spirit. I say, why you look at me and stare at me now so long? I'm a monster. I came into your heaven without your permission. I am something which should not be here. You're just looking at me, staring at me. 
That never happened to you in your heaven, such a thing. I say, if that's the way you look at me, then I go. They say, please, stop it. We want to take it time. come to know you. I give more justification. I am the tear of God. Which tear was dropped from the heavenly creator. I catch this tear. After this, I'm wondering in many eternity and I don't find any destination. I'm taking those tears, want to show many eternity the value of this tear. I don't know where I take this God tears. When I say such a thing, this heavenly being took me now and started crying like a children. He was crying like a child cry. And they said to me, If you are the one who catch tears of God and this fire burning in your spirit, then take all this heaven which you have fly in this heaven Many are belong to us. We give you right now. But please don't go. We want to have from this fire a little bit love in our own spirit. We have, even when I saw, I saw, I never seen such a unique being. And they said to me, our spirit has not burned until now. In God, golden and blue vertical light. Give us this moment of this burning love and take all our heaven and if this is not enough this couple say we also belong to you whatever you will say we will be obedient loyal and we will serve you this is our good luck our fortune that you came in our heaven. I <coughs> was looking their unique light, unique beauty which million year cannot describe. I say to them, if you let me know your story with God. So I will stay here a certain time. The couple, one hold one hand, one hold my other. And they was like a children. They were touching God light, which I have, kissing and took me there.
with their parents. When I entered in this palace, I felt the perfume fragrancy of God. And it was this perfume, this fragrancy of God was like it just left not so long ago. And I know God perfume and his fragrance. All creation, flower cannot come even near to this frequency of his, what he has. And once again I was thinking totally, my thought went very far. Is all creation which fall, they keep each other understanding. But instead to take, give them the final solution and their understanding, they are more falling in darkness. But the true original source where all happiness, peace, love, endless happiness, endless love existing, they don't want to come to know this God. He is the original source of everything. This is a original source where you drink the water of life and water of love. So they will come, spirit will come to all fulfillment. I was once again was thinking, if all this fallen creation would come to know those heaven, then they would not have fallen. Many say, Lucifer knew heaven. No, Lucifer don't know heaven. They say, he was in paradise. Yeah, he was in gross stages. But he was not in paradise. Paradise has many dimensions, trillions, formation stages, growth stages, complete stages. So they just strong what they express is because they are by themselves blind. That's why this Lucifer was living in paradise. He saw it as he saw. No, he saw nothing. Yeah. He was relatively growing. I was wondering, knowing God, you are a heavenly being. Throwing your back, showing your back to God, you are earthly person, external person. Doesn't matter which creation you are. Mm. However, this perfume, this pregnancy of God make me desperate. I was losing, I was becoming mystics. I was losing, I was losing my own control in my own spirit. I have asked this couple this frequency, this perfume of God. If God come to see you, when I ask them, they start. 
he was falling. Then positively he says, silently while they were so sad, yes, God visit us. Otherwise we would have said goodbye to already this heaven. But because God was visiting us, so our heart stuck here in hope maybe he come again. Please give me one minute and I am coming back. Just one minute. feel relief. Now I know what is a relief. Human physical body. I drink a lot of water. So I have to go pinkle. I'm sorry but I thought I should share with you. You know when you drink a lot of water. So let's come out. Let's come to business our my journey experiences. Oh. Hmm. I'd like to share something here. It has nothing to do with this topic. In the Mongolian Kaiser, Kaiser he wanted to kick out one Sufi. And Sufi has a he was a spiritual, great person. He said, get out from my country. He said, this land not belong to you, it belong to God. He said, three days time. So when he did this, after this, right ways, this Kaiser could not go to all that. He was drinking and eating, but he could not go to the toilet. Her mother, she was a believer of this Sufi. She said, that's a punishment because 
a Sufi, the lover of God, you wanted to kick him out from the country. No more and more he got a so pain. So he sent a message to Sufi, forgive me. I repent what I said. He said, no, I want to have your half possession as a Kaiser. You are half king, I am half king. When this answer came, Kaiser was filled with pain, but he said to his mother, you see, I know he is not a Sufi. Look, he asking my half emperor, Kunikarish. But after a while, pain was too much. He was angry. They brought papers, they signed it, and they were running. But when he saw Subi that he already gave his half emperor his power, His half power. He said, I changed my mind. Sufi says. Now I want to be emperor and I want you to become my ordinary citizen. And this, he write down on this paper where he was giving half kingdom. Kaiser, he don't know what to do. He was angry, he was hating, but he, his mother said, before you die and you lose everything, give it, let him become emperor, at least you can survive. Wow, here Jesus said, what is the good for mankind? What is the good for mankind if they got all the fortune of the world? All whatever they wish on this world, power, money, whatever they wish, possession, whatever they wishes, what is the good for them if in the end they lose their life? He used other term, I would say, in the end, not only life, but they use, lose their spirit. So he was angry, he said, okay, take it, I become normal citizen, you are emperor. Now this time her mother said, give me this a documentary paper, for, you gave authority. She went, she was the follower of this Sufi. She was secretly full of this Sufi. She believed he is a man of God. She when she cried, she says to this Sufi, you know mother heart, my son makes mistakes. He wants to throw you out from his country, but here please, this, you are the emperor from the home. And pray to God that he can go, he's pink and he can go to toilet. Sufi so felt compassion for this woman. And he says, take this paper where he signed to give me this emperor. And he says, give him this document and say, go to toilet and pinkle on your own kingdom. He went, she said, what are you saying, Sufi, great Sufi? He said, yeah, take this document, he should go to toilet, and he should make a pickle on his own. So when she brought, she said, go to toilet, and this documentary where you gave the whole authority, and the Sufi is new emperor, your pickle will come out. He went to toilet, he hold this paper, right there where his pickle came. and then other business too. So what Sufi was saying, yeah, 
take this paper and clean your own part. Yeah. The lover of God. Even you offer all the heavens, he will not take it. He will say to you, what shall I do this heaven? I'm missing every paradise, every heaven. God takes it. That's why there's such a spirit. You can call God spirit, divine spirit, whatever. Never feel home in paradise. Never feel home in heaven. Even this paradise, heaven, or such a thing. You look at one direction, you look at thousand years, never feel boy. Wow. But they never feel. Everything is there. They are the places where paradise and heaven are monument, where they feel home. They see God's footprint, they see God was stopping here. And they say, wherever paradise in heaven, God has stopped for a few moments, this will be our destination. I should be continue. Because I have to go to the toilet, I don't want to change my topic. Don't he go? in the direction of on the other other side. Now yes, you see that exactly. This couple are saying to me we could have lived this heaven a long time ago, but he was visiting us because of this, we always hope and wait, he will come again and visit here. <coughs> because of this promise of God, we have accepted these heavens from God. It means there's such a divine heaven. There you come to know the what is the eternal journey of spirit. There you will come to know the meeting point of love and life. There you will come to know what is a missing bridge between you and your Creator. And I tell you with my own experiences. Without love and light of God, even spirit become black and white shadow no life in spirit and love is transcends the time and space without God There is no question of happiness. Without God, there is no question of endless love. And there is no destination. Who will tell them? The address of God. Messiah is here. I wish if they would come to know my 10% value, 10%. I will help them 
to meet God in their lifetime. Yes. What is the eagle? I will make them God eagle. Whole internal life they would be thankful that we heard the voice of Messiah. We give response. And this response was helping us to hear the voice of God. So this couple was saying to me, no destination. But you know God. You have the address of God who is the creator of all creation. And they says take our light we also want to become belong to you. Even male says, reason, take me, take my partner and partner say, yes, take me. Take our heaven. Take us only to God. Take us there we, where we never return back. <coughs> I remind them their promise. And I say, I came to you in this palace. I wanted to know your love and your spiritual growth and story about God. They say, Yes, we know our promise. <coughs> and this promise, <coughs> you came with us in this, our palace. But please let us, give us a little bit more time. Let us open our heart. We have shared many tears, but our tears was like a springtime want to say goodbye to us. And the moment we saw you, we saw God's springtime came again in our heaven. If this would be in our hand, we will never, never let you go. It means God's love is like a wind. You cannot catch in your hand. We will never let you go. But we have promise 
And this promise was that you would not leave. We share our story, which go beyond billions and beyond. We share with you. <clears throat> you have seen us as a couple. And this story began as a couple. We met us in one very high dimension and we came to know each other. And we promises in this high heaven For the will of God, let's go in those fallen creation who have left God. And let's bring them back to God. That's the way we left our heaven. We went those fallen creation and yet we have not returned back. Time passed away. <coughs> and all the promise which we have given to God in the love, in the swear that we will return back only when we bring, we bring those creation back home and we will turn the candle of your love in those fallen creation. While in this Will of God, time pass, million years pass, more than time pass. And we you also became used to this fallen dark world. The love which we have received by God the light which we have received by God slowly was dimming and was saying goodbye to us. And every time we were reminding us those promise of loyalty, those promise which we have given in love of God, that we will not forget and we will fulfill our promises. journeys of fallen creation, we got a, such a loss. All this dimension we was passing, we were meeting fallen creation. have forgotten ourselves but we could not turn the candle of God love.
But the more sad things happen, more sad things happen in our life. Most comfort took place in our life. That we have never seen again springtime of love of God. We have lost everything with all the promise which we gave to God. We have even forget those heavens. This was just only one dream left. We couldn't even remember, but we remember only worst nightmare that we was in this dark creation. Time was passing. Time don't stops. Time doesn't stop for nobody. Time wait for nobody. So was our situation. This time will never come back. We have forgotten the time. and hope to fulfill our promises, the candle, the love of God. We also became part of this fallen world, dark creation. Once while we remember our one, our promise was reminding us like a bliss in the deep dark night. And then in the end what happened? We are begging to God. There was a very that moment for all those promises which we gave to God. <clears throat> we say to God, we wanted to bring those creation to you, but those springtime hope we also became Adam and came part of those fallen creation. We cry out to God we have not forgotten all our promises. But we beg to God. We break all our promises. And we cry out. We don't. We cannot carry this burden of love. Send now someone else. The search for this one who will fulfill all your promises. Uh, 
we also have promises. We will not call you. We were so proud to be your son and daughter. We wanted whole eternal life to remain in this dark fallen creation. But now we have given up. Those fallen creation make us tired. We have not fulfilled all those swear loyalty and love promises we came with. We thought we will make it. Their spirit was shaking begging to God. Then this couple said, in this dark, fallen creation, we saw small crystal blue light. Was coming toward us. And this blue, crystal small light embraced us. And we felt and we remember again when this light embrace crystal blue. We remember the love of God. How God has embraced us in love. And this light was whispering to us. What happened if you could not carry and hold on your promises of love but you had with your whole heart and whole soul. You have given a try. And then light was saying, I will never forget you. Then this small light uplifted us, magnet us, and we traveled to a wealthy time and speed. And we were standing before God. We bow down to God. We were shaking our spirit. We could not face our eyes to God. And we say, God, we are so shame. We have not fulfilled the promise of our loyalty. When God heard this thing, he came near to us. He embraced us. Fear was falling from God. And he comforted our heart, saying, Someone will come. Who will fulfill those promises? I am waiting for this one and you should also not forget that he will come to will who will fulfill all those promises, what he will give. I am waiting for such a spirit, 
and you should also wait for the spirit. And then light came from God's hand. And our whole darkness was away. And God says, You was before mine. You went with those promises in fallen world. You were still mine. And when you could not go on, you are still mine. You are still mine. Then God gave us this heaven where we are standing. Now we want to ask you, we have seen many God's son and daughter, many heavenly beings. <sighs> Our journey in those heavenly, the eternal journey, we have seen the unique, such a beauty, which is the highlight of this heaven. But who are you? Who taking the form of God light, vertical light, and standing before us? Then they start crying more, sobbing. I was saying, are you the one who we was waiting? Are you the one who God was waiting? And you are the one who fulfilled those promises. All those promises and all those sorrow. Fallen creation <coughs> who cause God so much pain and suffering. When I heard myself, I was overwhelming sadness. Tear was falling in my eyes like a rain. And I say to them, I don't know where to begin this story. Where and which word shall I use for loyalty and love? Because you are the beauty of this heaven. And what love you have offered God. Because of you those heaven was created. I wanted to say them goodbye. They hold my hands. You. 
I say when surely God will come again to visit your palace. Then ask your creator. He will let you know my name and who I am. When they heard this thing, they became so sad and they was crying. I fell down with me and was holding my feet. I myself was filled with sadness. And I want to say goodbye. And I was ready to take off. But suddenly I saw that creator of all creation is coming with his universal light. They thought I know God is coming toward us. <coughs> Certain distance, <coughs> all the universal light which can dominate all the creation cooled down. God came out and very slowly every step he start coming toward us. Our situation was overwhelming with three fall <coughs> in bow position. And then we felt present God was standing in front of us. God Hold us and let us stand up and God embrace us all of three. And God say to them these two unique beings, couple, I tell you their name. I tell you his name. His name is a love. The love which I was created and give birth. His love was greater than my love. Then God said to me, O Zion, take this form which you are original form. I felt very shame because God gave me a unique form of beauty which no internal life can express. I took my real form. Then God says, He is the one who is my heart. When they heard this thing, they fell like they have no balance in the bow. Before my feet, God again hold them and let them stand up. And the creator of all creation was saying, No one know my heart in all those creation, only I. When all those creation was not existing, I know. My heart. 
I know this. I was witnessing when all the heaven and creation was created and denied to <coughs> take my burden of <coughs> love, emptiness and lonely when I was alone. So this was the spirit who was promising without any consequences consequences and he took this burden of love. I know him too old when I have not created the love in life. He even is a partner of my childhood when I was alone. Then God started giving kissing my forehead and my eyes and God was getting mystic. Then he looked at those couple and say, yes, we were waiting for him. And God hold their hand and say, we all three, let's bow to his love. This couple, this unique beauty of heaven, they fall again in bow position. But when God wanted to go down, I fell on his feet and I was swimming and I said to God, if you want, I will be remain most happiest person in heaven, then don't bow. Other way around, let me become dust of your feet. When God heard, he smiled. Then he said, hold me and let me stand up. Then God said, okay. God said, I can embrace you in my arm. Oh, my heart. And then God let them stand up and say to this couple, today I fulfill my promise with you. And then God slowly was going upward vertically. And then he disappeared in universal light. Afterward, they hold my hand and they say to me, O oh God heart, we beg to you. Give us permission, allow us to come down, come down to serve you. I say this fallen human creation, they have a heart of stone. They don't have any heart for God except few. I don't want you to come and lose your light. They say to me, when, so long you are on earth, when you will say goodbye to this earth, then there will be no time where we, where we could be with you. At least keep this opportunity 
when you will say goodbye to this earth and lose your physical body, we can come with you. and then reject ourselves together with you to those heaven. Let us experience your sadness. Maybe this will be the key that we will get more opportunity to meet God. When I heard I became silence. When my spirit came back to my body, my body was sobbing, was crying, and my pillow where I sleep was filled with my tear wet. I share with you this my journey. I hope in this human creation there will be one heart, there will be one God lover who gonna hit this my journey and who know God call him prophet or messiah or he bring more light in this world.